okay. Just doing the sugar shake now and checking for the best brood frame to work with and that would be a good one actually. One or two frames of bees should be enough to give you about half a cup of bees or a cup of bees. So shake, shaking the bees onto a newspaper, two frames in our case to get enough, and basically pouring the bulk of them into the sugar shake. Like so. So we use pure icing sugar. Um, some people prefer the icing mixture. Um, the pure icing sugar can be a bit lumpy. And we, uh, you can actually push it through the, the grate to try and limit that. The icing mixture is not as lumpy, but has a bit of starch in it, so we prefer to stick with the pure sugar ourselves. So, give it a little bit of a roll, a bit of a shake. Let it sit for a couple of minutes and uh, you should have a, a prepared bucket, a light coloured bucket, we've just used an old yoghurt container, um, about three quarters, oh, sorry about a quarter filled or a third filled with water. And what we're going to do is shake the icing sugar into the water with the bees still inside. They can't get through the stainless steel mesh. And so what we do, just we're just checking there if there's any mites in the, the water as the sugar dissolves any mites will become really easy to see. And I can see a bit of propolis in there, I think a tiny bit of pollen maybe, but um, at the moment it's all clear. So we do that a second time because the theory is that the mites will lose their grip on the bees. pushing the icing sugar through and another shake. Have another look. And what we'll do is empty the bees onto the top of the hive and then they are probably having a bit of a party for the next couple of hours cleaning that up. 